Hey folks, welcome back to Audio Access. I'm back with another Reaper tutorial in which we are going to see how to use the sampler called Rio Samplematic 5000. Now, back to making music. Now, we have been talking about the video aspect of the Reaper uh, for the past two videos, and uh, I have got a request to make a video regarding this uh, Rio Samplematic 5000 uh, uh, plugin. So here it is. Okay. Now, uh, this is a nice way or nice sort of thing where you can use your creative um, mind or imagination to produce great musics. Okay. So I'm not kind of good at these sampling uh, things. Uh, I like to play music, just acoustic or, or piano, all those things. I don't like to mess with samples, but uh, this is good to have uh, as a tool, okay? Now, uh, I know friends uh, who are very good at sampling and they are very good at uh, creating something out of nothing, okay? This is the uh, art, okay? This is a very nice art in which you can uh, do whatever you want uh, it depends on your creativity and imagination okay so let's get started on how do we do that uh, this allows you to uh, play uh, a sample uh, in different ranges okay so it depends okay now let's say we have got a drum kit okay a, a nice uh, kick kick or snare or something okay so if you want to create a track or now 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 say i'm having an arrangement where i don't like the kick of the uh, that arrangement so i can replace the kick with a sound which i have got as a wave file uh, i can map it to my keyboard uh, and i can play it which converts to midi data okay so we have uh, worked with midi uh, i have created two videos if you haven't you can watch that in uh, those are in my youtube channel so that's the basic theory on sampling okay so without further ado let's get started because uh, theory is not good practical is best okay now as usual i have opened reaper and no tracks no tracks now before going into sampling aspect we have to have a sample to work with okay so I don't have any samples uh, with my uh, system. So let's create a dummy sample. Now in my case, I don't own a nice microphone. So I'm using my crappy USB microphone. <laughs> okay. So the sample will, will be very uh, low, but uh, this is how the theory works analogy. Okay. Now before recording something, let's check with my microphone settings are correct or not. Reaper preferences dialog. I went to preferences by pressing control P and I'm gonna go into device category by pressing D. Dialog, zero to disable, zero to uh, it gets the focus to the another window or another place in the device uh, category as a, a default thing that one. So let's press tab until we get the input device. Audio to allow audio to audio device settings proper input device combo box microphone low mid device the microphone generic USB audio. This is the microphone which I want to use and press let, let's press enter. Reaper V6.07 slash X64 evaluation okay. license no tracks. Now let's create a track control T track name at plan and let's say sample. Let's press enter. Name. Now one sample zero items. Um oh I have to arm the track. Arm. Testing one. Unarmed. So let's turn on, turn off the monitoring. Not when playing. Uh, by pressing Record monitor off. F8. Okay. Now, this is also a very be best practice where after recording the sample, we have to chop the sample by press, uh, cutting unwanted parts. Okay. So if you are not good at item manipulation, uh, I highly recommend you to watch and uh, get to know on item manipulations with Reaper where I have done a tutorial on that as well in the uh, YouTube channel and also you can check out the Reaper accessibility website where you can find numerous amount of resources and other materials okay so with that being said one sample zero items let's record something uh, pre-roll on pre-roll off so I'm often offing the pre-roll mm. so mm, what will be the sample um, since we can uh, I, I have to demonstrate a lot of things 
let's um, get the sample as a musical thing uh, let's turn it a musical context okay so let's um, let me check the middle C is La, la, la. Okay, this will be the sample. La, 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 la. 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 All right. La. All right. What sample? This is the sample. La. Right. Now. Uh, before importing those things into the Rio Samplematic uh, plugin, we have to cut the items, uh, chop the items to fit. Okay, so one, one, zero, one, select the item by pressing Ctrl, Left, or Right arrow respectively, and let's press Tab to get to the next transient. Da, da. And let's press, uh, let's scrub backwards by pressing Left arrow. La. Oh, this is la. La, 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 okay, that is good. La, what item added? I pressed uh, A to add the selected item, uh, which mean which will split the item. Uh, S will also work, okay. Two zero one zero one Let's sample. delete this. Before that, we have to turn on the ripple mode to track ripple per track. Per track, and let's delete, which will one item removed. Get the second item to the first place. One, one zero one sample two hundred thousand data. Bar one beat one zero percent. Ah, bar one beat one zero percent. Okay, let's leave it, leave it as it is, and we can come to the end of the item. La. Okay, now here let's. All right, here is the end which I don't need. Uh, let's press S one item added. and Two zero one, one item let's remove. delete it. One, one what we have got? La, la, perfect. Okay, although the sample quality is uh, crappy, um, this is a good example where you can record your own items and chop it, and we can work with that thing as a sample. Okay. Uh, now, the thing is, as I said, Reaper is not a, uh, what do you say that? This is a non-distractive editor. Yeah, I'm correct. Which means, now, after you press record, the whole um, so sound, which I said la, uh, it is stored in your Reaper uh, directory, which is in your documents folder. Okay, now, when we edit items in the Reaper, uh, it does not affect affect the um, audio file which is stored in your Reaper directory. That's what we call as non-destructive. Now, this is a virtual container in which you can store uh, whatever audio or MIDI or video, whatever you want. Okay, so it's better to glue the item uh, to get a new item by avoiding everything uh, which we have done to this item. Okay, so gluing means creating new items. Uh, or creating a new item by selection okay now if you want you can glue multiple items together okay we will be looking at all those things in upcoming videos if you wish please let me know in the comment section okay so let's glue the item one item selected let's select the item and press ctrl u Unsaved and project. Reaper it will glue and save a new file to your reaper directory folder reaper, uh, reaper media folder okay now we have got one zero one sample two hundred thousand eight hundred four underscore twenty two oh nine glue dot wav glue dot wav okay la now la. what we are gonna do is we are gonna work with um what is it uh, 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 uh yeah sampling okay sampling yeah so um, we have to create a new virtual instrument on, yeah, we have to create a new virtual instrument. Uh, go to the insert menu, Alt I. Media file, insert M. And up arrow. Empty space track from M virtual instrument on new track. CTRL plus insert V. Scanning direct XFX. Insert virtual instrument. Type re R E A. R E A. And press down arrow. List one list. VST. Race amplomatic 5000. Copy. All right. Free. This is the plugin which we are looking at. Let's press enter. FX. Track to race amplomatic 5000. And 
now there are numerous amount of controls which you can play with so i don't know what those a uh, lot of controls means because i don't use this uh, plugin much i have used in some point but i'm not comfortable with uh, these things but uh, let's go on the basics okay so let's press tab edit multi light button 0.0 plus button pair of button two out button uh, these are standard things UI button enable check Drop edit selected plus 0.0 volume slider plus 0.0 volume edit selected gain for minimum velocity slider plus 0.0 edit selected maximum velocity slider 127 edit selected minimum velocity slider 0 edit selected hand slider 0 edit selected 0.50 now either you can uh, type the value or you can choose using arrow keys or page up down keys all right now we have to go to the end of the list let's press shift and and list one will remove mm. add button. Zero deep edit red semi tones edit red edits raise edit D list button. Add button remove but add button. Zero edit semi edit select release. The mode of custom browse import item from a range button. I think we have to click this import item from range as I remember by the way. Rest. Okay. Raw custom mode of release. Mode of edit select raise and edit red only selected GTP combo box zero one sample two hundred thousand eight hundred four underscore twenty two oh nine blue dot wall collapse. Okay, so what it did was uh, it got the uh, item which was in the unsafe project one sample arm one item sample arm one item so one zero this one. item one zero one sample two hundred thousand eight hundred four and it imported to the real samplematic uh, five thousand all right two race amplomatic five thousand arm zero items now if we press a key on our keyboard let me turn on it la 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 la, la. okay so now now as you have noticed uh, it plays the complete sample so if i press um, my keyboard uh, my keys uh, five times it plays the sample five times okay la, la. okay so this is the default so you can uh, eliminate that thing let's press f to get to the effects window Effects. And let's press, let's go to the uh, checkbox which says obey not all. Edit multi line. Edit note. Edit note. Edit switch. Edit switch. Edit attack. Edit release. Edit switch. Edit select. A lot of options are there. Edit mini. Edit max. Edit select. Edit select. Round robin. Turn obey not all. Checkbox not checked. Alright. Check. You can press shift space, not space, shift space. And now la 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 la. Now, uh, this is the basic thing which you can use to control your samplematic and another small thing is if you want to use the uh, or you can if you want to play different keys or different pitches on the different keys in your keyboard uh, you can use the semitone shifted option loop checkbox crossfade edit selected zero loop start edit selected zero so, resample cache sample three sample mode combo box project default collapsed yep. Medium 60 project cash sam md for the mode import like mode combo box sample more okay now mode is by default no sample ignores midi note sample ignores midi note freely so configurable we we have to select sample note semitone shifted not semi uh, semitone shifted now e now if i press uh, what do you call this uh, keys la 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 so this is a nice thing uh, very good uh, now as i said now on onwards you can uh, play with these things and you can create a nice arrangement so Unsafe. let me show another small thing now now uh, to be creative uh, with this thing add effects to track if we add another reverb Reselected uh, select. Let's add reverb eight. List one list. Three level list one VST reverb. Copy VST reverb eight. FX okay. track. Edit button Z plus button. Combo box user preset. Let's select the Sync. Flutterize. Sync. Discrete room. Uh what do you Sync. Oh. Wide wide. Wide wide preset. And if I press now the key. La no preset. So very funny, right? La 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 la. 
Unsafe project. La. One one sample one zero one. Let's delete the sample track first. Once one track removed. One race app. Okay. R one beat metronome on. Let's turn on the metronome. Let's create an arrangement. La 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 la. Oh sorry. Undo recorded media. I can't hear the metronome. Why is that? Let's press Control. Uh, sorry. Alt Shift M. Metronome and pre-roll settings. And let's press Tab until you hear. Run metronome count. Run metronome count. Count in mass. Start count in its metronome primary beat volume. Fader slider minus twelve point oh dB. Okay. Let's. Increase this to minus eleven point minus ten point minus minus eight point four two dB. Eight. Metronome secondary beat volume fader slider minus six point oh two dB. Uh, let's increase this minus five to minus four point four two dB minus three point minus three. Unsafe project. Okay, this is fine. So let's create a simple arrangement. One race app. Let's press R. La 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 la. La 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 Okay so as you may notice I'm not good at playing so let's try to the quantize one zero one race amplifier let's select the item midi item and uh, I think this is 16th note with 16 not sure by the way if you are confused with these things please uh, watch the video which I have done about midi in the YouTube channel so you can uh, Come with these things, okay? Uh, control Shift Q. I'm not sure whether R1B1. it has got correctly. La 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. Fantastic. La 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 la. Little off. La 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 la. Okay. So this is how you can use the Rio Samplematic. Now there are other options as well, a lot of options uh, which you can play with. Uh, it depends on your sample, particular samples. Now, now in our case, we don't have a kind of a high quality sample, but uh, by using this very uh, poorly recorded sample, even uh, this is very fantastic. Um, so yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. I really hope this has helped you out in starting your creative journey. Uh, and thanks for the uh, person who has made the suggestion. I am not. I'm really sorry. I don't remember the name. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you very much. And also, if you have got any other suggestions, uh, guys, please let me know in the comment section. And I'll, I'll try my best to create the video as soon as possible. Okay. So this is the video. This is the end of the video. Uh, as I said, if you had got any questions, please let me know in the comment section, and I'll do my best. And also, please check out the Reaper Accessibility Wiki where you can find comprehensive articles and also in the useful links and resources page you can find a lot of useful uh, links and re resources uh, for instance the whatsapp group um, email list and other useful re uh, re tutorials okay so yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video and hope this helps and signing out Mohammad Ashad.